Hi, this is Ben Labrie, Time for Kids Kid Reporter, interviewing Joe Wilson, the Senior Director of Student Marketing for Microsoft. Does Microsoft have any envision for the future of education? It does. Um, I think it centers around personalized learning, the opportunity to use technology so that learning becomes more personal, so whatever it is that your specific needs or my specific needs can be met. So it really centers around that. And you can think of that in lots of different ways, but just one example would be the use of like uh, tracking student records and how well people score on tests and figure out what they do well and not well on, and using all that great information to help them be better, you know, better students and, and also to make better educators, for people that can use the information better. Have schools across America or even the world uh, have, have their own idea of the classroom in the future? I think there are. I think there's people everywhere that have their sort of beliefs and their ideas of what's, what's going to be the future of education or the classrooms. But, you know, I don't think there's any one answer right now. That maybe there shouldn't be. I think we all need to work together if we're ever going to find an answer like that. Because, you know, we have to have better education. More people need to get access to it. And, and we have to make sure that the quality of that's equal to what the world needs. There's a school in Port Townsend, not, pu not the public school, but they have a laptop for all the fifth grade. And so that's, they believe that's the classroom of the future. I think it's probably a start. Um, I don't know if there's any proof that having a laptop in every student's hands is going to answer you know, all the problems, but technology can play a role. You know, the internet gives us access to information as long as it's done in a safe way. Um, you can be interactive, and sometimes, I think a lot of times, computers make learning more interesting. I mean, most of the kids I know might like to play a game if they can learn the same thing versus just taking a test. Yeah, like Surface or those types of things. It becomes a lot of fun to do. So one of the ways that I think about education is if we can light up the minds of students through the use of technology, then we're doing something pretty great. Do you think you could name three top advantages of having um, computers in the classroom? Again, I think it gives you great access to information if you can connect them to the Internet. I think it makes learning more fun, especially if you get to use multimedia like videos and photos and those types of things. I think it can also help teachers track the uh, sort of how well students are doing and then sort of cater their lessons to, to uh, you know, making that even better. Do you know about how long Microsoft has been thinking about this future of education? Well, Microsoft's been working in education ever since we became a company. It's been a priority. You know, I often say that uh, you know, we were started by students. The entire business was started when a lot of our founders were students, so education was the forefront of their minds and working with students, or you know, at least student life, I guess, was there. So we've been working in it since we started back in 75. And this vision of education, personalized learning and classroom of the future, school of the future, those types of things have really come about in the last 10, maybe five years. And, and so we have a chance now to see what they can really do. But it takes time. Do you have uh, a team or a facility for education yet? We have, we have large teams in the company that work on education. Um, that go out every day and work with uh, schools, with universities, also teams that work with teachers, and then teams like my team that go out and work directly with students. And uh, do schools like this um, future of education so far? How many schools have you gone to? Well, I don't think that there's any one future vision that, has, that exists in all the schools that we work with. You know, a lot of the work that we do with schools is about the basics. Can we make sure that they have, you know, products like Microsoft Office or, um, you know, Windows operating systems so that they can get started? That's probably the first step that they have to take, you know, to, to get technology in the classroom. Then after that, you can start to see where you can cater the needs of that school. So I don't think there's any one, you know, single thing that everyone does, aside from maybe trying to get access to technology, like the PCs, into the schools. How long have you been um, interested in technology? Yeah, I think probably always. Uh, you know, we didn't have access to computers when I was in school. Uh, I don't think I actually ever touched my first computer until I got to college, but man, once I did, I was sold. I fell in love, and I was going to always be working with computers in one way or the other, so I have, I've always been excited about it. But it's less about the computer itself and more about what it lets me do. And how long have you been at Microsoft? About five years. And why did you start? Well, um, I had never worked in a big company. I actually had been in small companies, an entrepreneur. I started companies, little companies, to do different things. And I got the invitation to come work at Microsoft, and I was pretty excited because it was the first time, one, it's Microsoft. Uh, the other is, you know, they're, they're in every, almost every country. So, so it was a chance to do something that was on a global scale. 
and really make a difference. And when I found out that my job could be about changing the lives of students and making sure they could do more or be more, then I was sold. So that was, it was a pretty exciting day when I found that out. Now I'm going to interview Joe's son, Joey. So do you spend much time on computers at home? Yes, I do. I spend a lot of time at computers. Do you have your own? Uh, not my own, but my family's, yes. What's your favorite thing to do on computer? Play games or... I do... I like to play games, but I also like to just look up stuff. Sometimes. When was the first time you got to go on a computer? I think... I really don't know the answer to that question because I don't remember. Does your dad and your dad's job teach you a lot about computers and technology? Yes. Um, my dad teaches me pretty much everything that I know about what he knows about computers. Do you want to grow up to be like him? Um, kind of. I also have um, other things I want to do, like playing music and stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. This is Brennan LeBrie, Top of Kids Kid Reporter, interviewing Joe Wilson, the Senior Director of Student Marketing, and his son Joey at the Microsoft Campus.